Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a creamy almond soup. So without further ado, let's start with the video. The first step is to soak about 1 cup of almonds in some water for 5 to 6 hours. Alternatively, you can blanch them. That is, you can add boiling hot water to a bowl of almonds and then let them sit for about a minute and then drain the hot water and rinse them under cold water. It has been 6 hours now. Now I'll drain this water and start peeling the almonds. All of them have been peeled. I will keep aside 5 to 6 for later and the rest go into a mixer jar. We will make a coarse paste out of this and this is done. Now about the almonds that we set aside, we will cut them into slivers like so. If you don't want your soup to have a slight bite or crunch, then you can skip this step and these are all of them. Now we'll move on to the stove. Here I'm heating a pot and adding about 1 tablespoon of oil. After it heats up, I'm adding half a teaspoon of chopped garlic. After it loses its raw flavor, I am adding 4 cups of water. You can add 4 cups of almond milk instead or even do half and half that is 2 cups of almond milk and 2 cups of water. Depends upon how creamy you want it. I wanted this soup to be light and healthy and not very heavy so I have stuck to water. You can also add vegetable stock. Now I am adding the almond paste. Mix it well break any lumps that might be there. Now I'm adding the almond slivers. Add some salt and one teaspoon of pepper and we'll cover this and let it cook for another 10 minutes. This is how it looks after 10 minutes. Now we'll add the cornstarch slurry to this. To make this, just add one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch or corn flour to some water and mix it thoroughly. After adding the cornstarch, we'll let the soup cook for another three to four minutes because we don't want raw flour. This looks perfect. Now give it a final taste for seasoning. It's perfect. I'll switch off the flame. Now I'm serving it into bowls. This makes for about 3 to 4 servings. This soup is really easy to make. I wanted it to be light while retaining the original almond flavor. So we've used very few ingredients that you probably have in your kitchen right now. So do give it a shot and let me know what you think. Finally, I'm seasoning it with some freshly ground pepper and it's ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all very soon with a new vegan recipe.